This will be a short demonstration of um, SPSS uh, skills you need to work with two categorical variables where both have two categories. So we're going to start off with, um, uh, in the lesson in class, we looked at two variables in the CCHS condensed data set. Uh, one is country of birth, Canada or other, and the other was dwelling owned by member of household yes or no. So two categories here and two categories down here. Question was, are immigrants to Canada as likely to live in a dwelling owned by a member of their household as non-immigrants? So we're comparing immigrants to non-immigrants, meaning Canadian born is a non-immigrant and other meaning immigrant. So we went through this in class. The data analysis plan based on the guideline of page 30, we go through numerical exploration we do visual exploration, practical significance, and then answer the research question. In this short SPSS lesson, we will be simply going through the numerical exploration and the visual exploration, producing a paneled pie chart, producing a contingency table. And this is what we're, our goal is. So this is our contingency table. Our goal is to produce this contingency table and this paneled pie chart. Um, and the, we discussed in class the bar charts, so those we will not discuss in this lesson. Here's our data set, which I expect you will have opened up from the Statras uh, website. So the first thing we want to produce is the numerical exploration, and if you have your SPSS instructions, uh, that will have the following steps listed. Analyze, descriptive statistics, sorry, cross tabs. So once we open up cross tabs, you'll see country of birth. Well, you'll see these will be blank. Uh, so let me empty them out. And you need to scroll through. So if you have a lot of variables and you want to look for country of birth, you hit the letter C. And you will go right to the first C. We want country of birth as it is the independent variable in rows and dwelling. So I go here and again I press D. First D is daily consumption. Second D did not eat desired quantity. Third D dwelling. So that's our D here. Dwelling owned by a member of the household. Goes in columns and then we look for which statistics we want. All of these are possible statistics. I will at this point we'll just keep this empty we don't want any of these statistics and here we want our observed values and we want percentages by row because our independent variable is on rows click OK we do not want to display the bar chart so we'll leave this empty and click OK and here's our the contingency table numbers and the percents. So we see 74.9% of those born in Canada live in a dwelling owned by a member of household and other, meaning immigrants, 71.6. Next we want to produce the pie chart. So we go to graphs, legacy dialogues, and in here we look for the pie. There it is. Click on the pie. Summaries for groups of cases. Define and we look at slices defined by dwelling and then columns by country of birth. So we find the variables here just as before, throw them into these slots, click OK, and here we have the pie charts. And we can see whether we look in the chart here, 74.9%, almost 75. 71.6 is also not too far from 75%. So we see that very clearly in the pie charts. This is about under 75%. This is very close to 75% dwelling owned by member of household. This has been a demonstration of using SPSS to analyze two categorical variables where both have only two categories.